How to Find a Cancer Support Group. Hello, and welcome to Video Jug. If you're one of the many who has been diagnosed with cancer, you may need all of the help you can get in the months ahead. Millions have found the help they needed by joining a cancer support group. Not only will you find information and activities to support your recovery, but there's even evidence that people who become involved in a cancer support group live longer than those who do not. The key to having as good an experience as you can is to choose the right support group for you. Here's how. Step one, self-diagnosis. The first thing you should do is diagnose your health status. Are you expected to make a full recovery or are you and your doctors uncertain? It's important to make an honest assessment. If you join a group whose members are facing futures different than yours, the experience might make you feel worse, not better. Step two, talk to your doctor. Ask your doctor for recommendations on which kind of support group he or she thinks is best for you. Doctors are great resources for finding cancer support groups in your area. If your doctor doesn't know of a good group for you, try asking your local hospital. Step three, search online. The internet is an excellent way to find a cancer support group. Use a search engine or go to the American Cancer Society's website. There you can find information on which groups are in your area. Step four, find your kind. Although it's not essential to find a support group made up of people who have the same kind of cancer as you do, many have found it very helpful. This is because cancer support groups are great resources for information. Members exchange info ranging from the latest treatments for their specific kind of cancer to which doctors specialize in the types of surgeries they need. Step five, select your style. When choosing a support group, it's important to select which style will work best for you. There are support groups with several members who get together on a regular basis. There are also one-on-one -on -one groups, basically buddy systems, which match you with one person. The kind you choose will depend on your personality and how you feel about your cancer. Some people enjoy belonging to both kinds of groups. It's entirely up to you. Step six, make a judgment call. Call the support group's representative on the phone before going to your first meeting. This will help you make sure this group is right for you. It will also give them an opportunity to make you feel more welcome should you decide to meet with them. Step seven, give and get. Once you've found a support group that's right for you, keep in mind to give is just as rewarding as to get. Just as you'll feel better by having a support group help you, you'll find it also feels good to be able to return the gift. So make an effort and help others in your group. Step eight, get cancer, get a friend. Chances are you'll find that cancer has given you something you didn't expect a new best friend. Cancer's not a club anyone wants to join, but as thousands of survivors can tell you, the experience can bring you together with supportive new people who know exactly what you're going through. Done.